Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Welcome to Adhoc Tutorials video channel. In this Adhoc tutorial, I will show you how to enable PHP PDO support for Oracle 12C. Uh, you may use this tutorial on other Oracle versions as well. So to achieve this, we will download necessary files and RPM packages. We will install them, make some system configurations. And finally, we will test the PDO connectivity to Oracle server from our uh, PHP Apache web server. Uh, you may also check my other tutorials on how to set up Oracle, uh, how to set up CentOS VM in VMware Workstation Player. Also, how to install Apache web server uh, in CentOS. Uh, here is the original article uh, in my website at hooktutes.com. Uh, also, uh, you may find uh, the link to this Google document in the video description below. So let's start. Uh, first, uh, we need to know our uh, Oracle database version. So uh, here is my Oracle server. I'll log in to SQL plus console and uh, run this query. So as you can see, my Oracle version is this. So let's copy it. Next, we will download uh, the RPM packages from the official website. So we click accept. So uh, we need to download two RPM packages. One is basic, this one. And the second is devil, this one. I have already downloaded them. Now uh, we need to upload the downloaded uh, RPM files to our web server. So let's use uh, the FTP client for this purpose. So this is the IP address of my uh, web server. Uh, by the way, here is my web server in this IP address my PHP and Apache versions are PHP is 7.2.6 and Apache is 2.4.6 uh, you may use this tutorial for any PHP version greater than 7 so let's uh, open the FTP client and connect to our web server using SFTP. So here are the files, basic and devil packages for my Oracle version. Let's upload them to the server. So now that I have uploaded, let's check. So if I type LS, so here they are. So next, uh, we will install some basic util send packages with this command next. Uh, we need to install RPM packages and remove the files, RPM files. So let's run these commands. Well, now that our RPM packages are installed, let's make some uh, system configurations. So let's find the installation version using this command. So in my case, this is 12.2. So we'll set the Oracle version variable to this. Uh, next, we will create some shortcuts and uh, create system variables. So let's run these commands. Uh, next, we will create the ph. Uh, next, we will install PHP PDO package. So first, uh, we need to find our PHP version, uh, which is seven two six. So here we set PHP version variable. We download the PHP sources file, the corresponding PHP sources file, extract them, and uh, go to PDO OCI folder. So let's run these comments. 
Well, next let's install the PDO package and remove the PHP sources file we have downloaded previously. So now if you type ls, as you can see, all the files are deleted. So now we need to create the corresponding PHP configuration file to enable PDO for Oracle. So as you can see, the available PDO drivers include OCI as well. So now let's restart the services because we have made the configuration changes. And finally, we may test uh, the PDO connectivity to Oracle server. So my Oracle server IP address is this. But this is the user. This is the password. Uh, we will initiate a PDO connection to our Oracle server. Next, we will run this query and print the output uh, to the console. So uh, it will print the first row of this query. So let's run this. Uh, PHP R uh, is used uh, to run the inline PHP commands in the console, in the bash console. So let's run this. So as you can see, it's working and it returned the first row of the query. So well, uh, we have PHP PDO uh, enabled for uh, Oracle 12C. Uh, this is the end of the tutorial. I hope it was useful for you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.